Welcome back to Tay Time Podcast. How's everyone? How's everything? I hope you're all good. I hope you're having a good time enjoying whatever part of enjoyment you're having. Summer beginning for most of you, I'd say. So, you know, have a good summer. Have a nice summer. Yeah. Just like how the summer has begun in the villa of Love Island. Dun, 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 dun. See how I did that. See how I pulled that. Was that was very smooth. Yeah. And even, I literally just took that off the dome. I actually didn't even plan that. I literally just did it right there. But yeah, no. So yeah, uh, we've been watching Love Island. I'm not into the show. Really don't care. But one of the guys I know is on the show, uh, Dami. Uh, I love how you just went straight it? into it. There's nothing. I know. I was just. just ex- I'm explaining as to why it. I'm watching the show. In it, sure, because like I don't normally watch Love Island, but my, like one of my best friends, Wally, uh, his best friend uh, is Dami. So, and I've hung out with him. Uh, we went to London before uh, together, like with you know a few of us, just three of us actually. And, uh, yeah, no, it was nice, and the guy's a good guy, so, you know, got to support the roles, got to support the homies. But we'll start with the beginning of Love Island, the initial people who went into the villa. Um, okay, so I don't know if you guys have watched Love Island or you're watching it. I know, um, what was it, like 80% of our audience is from the U.S., so maybe not as familiar with the show. But basically, it's kind of, like, similar to, like, too hot to handle type of premise where these people just go into like a villa um and then they try to find love you know it's the love genuine connection island yeah Yeah, so it's it's a really nice cool concept it's very very trash tv though i will say um i guess hence why fruk said he doesn't follow it because like i don't know i guess a lot of people are like yeah like this just background noise you know um but yeah, it's like a cool concept, and I guess did it is starting in the UK. I think yeah. it did because a lot of countries copied it. I know Romania has a version. Yeah, no, it started in the UK. Love Island started in the UK. It's the biggest one in it. Yeah. yeah, I think doing an episode like this was long overdue, though. Yeah. So, but yeah, no, we started watching it. It's uh, it just ended on week three, just there of the uh, thing. Essentially, what happened is. Um, it starts off with the original like cast members, mm-hmm. and uh, it's it was Dami, Luca, Andrew, um, I'm trying to think, Andrew, and a few other guys. Liam, Liam Davide. Davi, no, Davide came in. He was the first person. Yeah, first in. person to come in, and uh, so on. And then the gals, you know, you had Tasha, Paige, um, Jamal. Jamar, uh, Jamar, uh, Amber, India, and that was uh, yeah, that was it. And so they kind of like start off, and the vote and the public decided on who they're going in. And let's just start with their no one was happy with their couples, realistically. Yeah. So usually, I guess in the show, like the girls or the boys are like chilling, and then each person like like a male or female comes in, and then they're like step forward if you would like to couple up with x person and then they like step forward if they want to and then that person picks whoever um but i guess this year was different yeah they Um, let the public decide who was going to cap couple with who at the start and it was interesting because like everyone was kind of like iffy about like their partners like you see that people weren't really happy yeah like they started warming up to their partners eventually but like at the very start the couples were very rocky everyone was like what but you would be though because i feel like that like option to choose is just stripped away from you like oh yeah here you just have to couple up with this person which i feel makes it really tough on if you want to get to see other people it's like oh maybe the public really wanted to see me with this person should i try to make it work should i like mm. you know whatever um and i think it can be like if you're in the villa yeah no, it, it, i it was uh you could see it was forced anyway yeah. sorry but like eventually you started talking to you some people started liking people but yeah, no, it was kind of like first impressions. Uh, Gemma was very annoying. Uh, first impressions, she was just very bitchy. She was literally just making snarky remarks at everything. And it's funny because like when she first met Luca, she was like, "Oh, what's like your name?" And then it's like, your, like last name, and his name is like Luca Bish. And then she's like, "That's a strange name, isn't it?" Yeah. And you know, like kind of being like, and I look at her. She's fucking 
coupled up with this guy fucking be like oh he's so nice and you know fucking so like madness but um yeah Gemma was very annoying at the start she's like calm down now but i think that's just because they're not showing much yeah of her. i think so i feel like she might be the same but yeah. we just don't see as much but um do you remember that scene where she's like owen Gemma oh, okay. owens owen yeah. like okay that's great yeah it's like because, like, her dad, if you don't know, is Michael Owens, who... I thought it's just Owen. There's no S. Michael Owen. Yeah. So, I don't know. Well, anyway, Michael Owens, whatever. Michael Owen, Michael Owens, whatever the fuck. Uh, he played for Manchester United during their golden day, literally when they were at the peak prime when I was like, yes. I love this team. But uh, I still love the team. Don't How get me long wrong. ago was this, though? This was years ago. Oh. Like, 20 years or something around that. Like, this was long ago. Um, and uh, he won a Ballon d'Or while he was playing with them. So, like, that's the best thing he's ever done in his life and his greatest achievement, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, you can question whether he should have won that Ballon d'Or or not, but he just happened to be scoring goals, to be honest, while Manchester was at their peak. So he he got it anyway. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, she's like, Owen, my father is a football player, Michael Owen, you know. She didn't say it, though, to be you fair. But, yeah, but, like, that's what she was alluding to. But uh, all the TikToks, honestly, Love Island is aight, but the Love Island TikToks is where it's at. Yeah. Because everyone's just reacting, making memes like the internet does. That's where <laughs> the money's at. Honestly, that's all the best parts of Love Island. You never need to watch a show. Just watch your TikToks. No. But uh, yeah, no, Gemma's very annoying. Like, well, how about you? What other first impressions? Other people or Gemma you want to touch on there? um let's see who was there from the get-go um yeah i like Gemma really took center stage when she walked in and i did find it really annoying because it seemed like the Gemma island like it was so much that we saw of her that i feel like we didn't get to know the other people until yeah a few even the later. like first actual boy to come in was her ex yeah like, you know? that's mm. and everyone's like wow this show's really revolving around her you know yeah, like, in the end of the day, it worked out well, but, yeah. like, it was, like, oh. I know. It was, like, why why are we focusing on her so much? Like, it's, like, that's my ex. That's my ex. Like, okay, girl. All right. Chill. <laughs> but, yeah, no. And then uh, let's go on to the couple. So, like, for example, at the start, we had Liam and Gemma at the start. And, oh, look, it's yeah. fucking Gemma talk pod no like fucking yeah. but it, it's important for the storyline Gemma was with Liam uh, I wonder like I feel like maybe the public put them together because they're the youngest like yeah. Gemma's only 19 so yeah Liam was like know. 22 or whatever yeah but essentially Liam put all his eggs in one basket and was like hopelessly in love with Gemma <laughs> you know he was like oh my god Liam is not on the show anymore uh, he left because he put all his eggs in one basket. Gemma didn't want him. She went for the day when he first went in, the Italian Stalin. And uh, so Liam was like, yo, none of the girls here want me right now. And uh, I don't know, maybe there may be other things. Like, obviously, we don't know the full extent as to why he went home, but he decided to leave and go home, you know. And so because of that, he went home. No one else got kicked out. And uh, then Gemma was in the, with Davide. And then out of nowhere, Luca, like, it's like, yo, I like you. Yeah. Even though he's been moving to Paige and Tasha. Maybe he found out that, um, who her dad is. Because I've seen a lot of TikToks and stuff being like, yeah, Luca's in love with her dad. And, like, the only reason he's just trying to make this work so hard is probably because of her dad. Uh, either way, like, he came out of nowhere, swooped a gym off her feet, and took hair right off he's such a the simp. court from the Italian styling. Yeah. So, but yeah, no. And David was annoying at the start, but nah, everyone likes not nah at the end because of him and Ekansi, which is the friend girl that came on, and she was a whole ordeal herself. Yeah. But he was, he was like, fuck you, get out of my sight. I don't care about you because she liked him. I think she's a handful, though. Um, yeah. Ekansi is very annoying. Very, very annoying. Do you think so? I really like her. I don't like her. I don't like her. Tell me why you like her. I think Ekansi is just like really like fiery and very like she's good for tv i think i agree she's good yeah she's good to make the content like spicy yeah but i don't like her as like as i don't a person. know i think maybe like throughout the episodes maybe it's gone a little bit the likeness has gone down a little bit just because i f i don't like the way she's like oh everybody's leaving me when it's like she was the one who was like leaving all the guys you know yeah exactly um, 
and it's kind of like karma <laughs> when like what was the david they said like karma is a bitch yeah karma is a bitch um and yeah like i just didn't really like that but i, I just i liked that she was like that female player in the house and just play toying around with yeah, all the guys yeah like that's not the problem that's not the problem the problem is being that and then lying and being like oh my god i want something real or like everyone's playing with me but you're doing you're playing with everyone else so make it make sense yeah that wasn't a vibe you know like that. make it make sense like you can be a player but be open don't be fucking saying like oh my god everyone's attacking me because of this even though i'm not like this even though you are like that yeah and i mean she I guess you came in very strong with, I'm not here to make friends. Yeah, you know, I'm not whatever. here to be seasonal girlfriend. Yeah, but then now she was like, oh, like all the people are just backstabbing me, which actually I didn't like the way they're all kind of turned onto Ekansu. And I don't know if it's because we don't see enough, like we're not shown everything. Yeah, I think it's because we're not shown everything. Because like the way it seemed weird to us because wasn't Paige like on her side or whatever and then yeah, turned and then back on Yeah, the next day, the, yeah, like, but sh- I'm pretty sure it's because they don't show us everything, yeah. you know? and every and whatnot so like it's hard for us to like get the full context like one minute someone kind of likes each other but the next minute they don't and it's probably because like there's so much things that happen in between that probably makes them be like yeah actually you know what you actually kind of fucked yeah you know yeah and you know maybe they said other things and it just kept stacking up you know but yeah no it's pretty interesting well, that's also another thing the unseen bits are more fun than the actual show yeah and it's only once a week like saturdays i wish we got unseen bits like after every episode or yeah something. because the unseen bits are actually more fun like cause it shows them like more because i guess it's because it's not scripted yeah so it's like them just like having a laugh and doing shit whereas the actual thing is like they're like oh yeah redo that part like there are things like there was a scene where the two girls were talking and dami was sitting down and then the, the next you know two girls are talking dami is not sitting down and then they like continue the conversation and then two girls are talking dami is there with someone else i think with someone else and i'm like mind blown a little bit yeah so you know it's whatever but yeah i do sense that bit of like scriptedness in the house like it's a bit like it's very like okay girls in the morning go up to the terrace talk about what happened last night guys go down to the fire pit talk about what happened last night and i feel like after all events they're kind of told to okay go here and discuss you know exactly or like retake i've heard on a previous season right this couple was having their very first kiss and the producers like didn't like it so they asked them to retake it to the point that they retook it like three times their first kiss and the guy got like really annoyed and was like yeah i'm not doing this again yeah i'm not doing it do you know what i mean like they're like yeah you are doing it boy you signed a contract you're a slave (laughs) (laughs) you're gonna do what we're telling you to yeah you do what we say um you're gonna love it (laughs) it's such a bummer it's like do you want the plt contract or what Mm, you're gonna do what do what we say fucking molly may would know all about that anyway she would but uh yeah no right now currently honestly like it the the show is i uh as i said i'm literally only watching it because of that me like like that's the reason you know, and then I'll be messaging Wale, be like, yeah, look, bloody, bloody, blah, blah, you know, like stuff like that, that, but, um, and like some things like let Amber was moving mad. I'm, I'm going to put that Amber was moving mad. Dami was out here. My guy was trying. <laughs> he was giving her everything. He was talking to her, giving his heart. You know, he was making moves, but she was not reciprocating. Yeah. whatsoever the most she did was that one morning she like brought him breakfast or whatever and was like oh i'm here i feel like she was probably asked by someone you know? to do it as well it was like, not that you she know, wanted oh, to do here, it you know or maybe she's like it looks good on tv and then when she comes back she's like catch flights not feelings and then the the comment you said it's like maybe if you caught some feelings you'd still be on the show yeah, yeah. like for real man she was giving nothing back she was giving nothing back so i was actually so mad when he moved from her because i was just like this guy yeah. is just vexing, you know? So, I want to touch on that, right? Like, let's talk Dami, you know? So, Dami is your friend, right? Yeah. How would, how well would you say you know him? How close are you guys? We're not, like, we're not super close like that. Like, once again, it's just, like, it's, like, a friend of a friend, you know? But that I hang out with, with the other friend and stuff like that. So, but, like, yeah, no, like, he's, not nah, he's a good guy. Like, even when we're on a trip, good lad, good vibes, you know? And, uh... He's, he's a nice guy. So, like, like from what I've seen in person, he's exactly like that in, like, the show. Like, that was one thing I was interested in. Is like, like, is he going to be the same on the show as he is in real life? And so, yeah, no, like, he absolutely is, you know. And 
um it's really cool to see mm-hmm. like you know someone you know like and you've talked to you and like hung out with like doing something and like and like major pop props to him you know like hopefully like as I, I said i'm like i hope he goes all the way to the end gets lots of money fame good times yeah. ahead you know type of thing so like you guys like, like went to what, london together on like yeah we went on a, on a what boys was, trip what was it what was he like there what was, was he like calm. with the ladies no nah, i was cow you know like <laughs> why are you not here to share this i'm not here, this is what oh, oh my one of those men is like oh yeah 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 you know that one guy from our town yeah we we're friends you know and we we're and we did this you know and like you know yeah and, but like nah, you, it's not uh, like an acquaintance if you guys yeah. are sleeping in the same bed like, yeah yeah you know no. more you're just not telling us no, more. it's not it's not my business in it like damn me all i'm saying is you're doing well for the lads you're doing well for the irish nigerian boys anyway mm-hmm. so like we're just out here you know you know everyone's backing him and that's really cool i like to see that the whole community is backing him you know everyone's watching it and being like yeah you know and like he's growing and following and i love it it's a lot you love to see your own people grow you know like yeah. and, stuff like that, and he so. has um an event so we can shout that out as well yeah I license think. to party you know co-founder of that you know and uh and one of those good motives that actually are in there in dublin you know so pull up to those but uh yeah no honestly it's pretty cool to see I'm glad Amber's gone. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. So, She's yeah, you wrecking, were saying, like... Wrecking my head. Amber was, you know, still whatever. What's your impression of his current couple? Uh, yeah. wait, India? India? Damia? India? <laughs> Damia. Damia. In, I like Indami. Oh, I don't like that. I like that because mm. it's, it, you know, Indomie. Yeah, yeah, but yeah I don't, like, I don't that's like proper it. Nigerians. That's why I like Indami. But Damia, India. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it, it's cute. Like, even yesterday when... Like uh, Friday's night episodes, there of the ending of the third week, uh, they were recoupling, and I was like, oh yeah, this girl like makes you smile. It's easy, it's just easy, you know. Yeah. And she's just like giggling, you know, like smiling, and because she knows it's her. Like I was just like, ah, oh, this is cute, you know. It's very cute. I'm like this is cute it's to see. This is cute. cute to see. This is cute to see. And like you know? um, when I think he said like something like um, he wants, he feels like he wants to protect her, and the whole like Twitter, TikTok, everything just blew up. Like, yeah, exactly. He wants to protect her. Yeah, no, no. That means definitely very popular with the with the public. Like I think because he says as he is. You know, like, and that's a trait that him and Wale are very good with. And, like, I uh, I like it, you know. Like, that's why I like moving with Wale and them. Like, because, like, they're honest. They're straight up. No mm-hmm. bullshit thing. Mm-hmm. And, like, they just said, like, you know, like, last night, Tasha was moving mad. And he was telling her, like, yo, this is how I honestly feel. You know, and Lucas like, yeah, just copy paste. I don't need to say anything. The man said everything. You know, like yeah. no bullshit, no nothing. They just be straight up, and I like that. I like that. I rate it. You know, like there's a lot of people on this show, and I know they're not being their, their real selves. Yeah. So speaking of Tasha, then what's your impression of her current Tasha. situation? Tasha is fucking boring, man. Oh, Tasha's boring. Mm. She settled down for Andrew. Fucking don't lie. Don't lie. And they said, who said that to her from the get go? They're like, oh, let's be honest, like you guys just settled. Or yeah, like I don't know, I can't remember. But Tasha settled down for Andrew. Like no one, fight me, <laughs> fight me. I will fight. I will die on this hill. She settled down for Andrew because all the other guys decided on other girls. And then she's like, oh, I should really like Andrew. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. She doesn't really like him like that. Seems forced. She doesn't really like every time. Every time there's a man in them, she's like. Her head's not turning. Her head's flicking 180 yeah. degrees. It's like a you know? slight little... It's a... a full on. She's fucking snapping her neck to look at him. You know, but it's it's madness still. And then those guys don't want her. And then she's like, Andrew, I love you. And she's like, how can everyone be giving me, shaking their head, being like, oh, because Andrew picked me. Yeah, you don't mean? Because you don't care about this guy that you're settling. Yeah. I know I'm not I'm no second option. I'm no bitch, you know? So yeah, so what happened, I guess, um, this new guy who came into the villa showed her some interest and they went on a little hot tub date. And what well, like just because he showed a bit of interest, she was like, Oh yeah, I really liked it. I'm leaving it up to you and all this stuff. Meanwhile, like the day before she told Andrew that she would leave with him if he was to leave the villa. Yeah, exactly. Which was just like... Which is the strongest thing you can say on that show. Yeah. It's like, oh, if they're leaving, I'm leaving. because yeah. And that shows like, this relationship means something that I am in relationship with this person. I don't give a fuck about this show. I want to go with them. And you're willing to forgo mm-hmm. a lot of, more of attention yeah. and possible career opportunities for when you come out for this yeah. person. Which I think is premature because I don't think they're in there long enough to 
be doing that anyway. Three weeks, please. And it's not even three weeks proper, please. Yeah. Like, like I guess, okay, it shows a lot about you, how much you care about them. Like, I feel like Luca would 100% leave if Gemma was to. Yeah, but Luca is is Luca. <laughs> Luca's Luca. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter if I don't get that PLT deal. I have her dad. <laughs> Also, Luca is doing well in the followings. I was yeah. saying that a lot of the guys like are slowly like shout out Dami only hit a hundred k there the last day, uh, but like a lot of guys are slowly growing followers. But Luca is just <laughs> growing exponentially with like the same way like the girls. Obviously, we all need the girls. We're gonna get followings. There's no doubt about it. Guys are just following straight away the one they see. And girls, 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 and girls too. Girls. And then, but like Luca is blowing up with the, he's like 320k or something i was like holy shit but you know what Luca, the fishmonger <laughs> he's I, not gonna have to be mongering fish no longer yeah, i know <laughs> right i know i will say though Gemma and luca are very cute like together yeah they're very cute oh is like 24 like, yeah i think so yeah. like at the fir- at the start it was very like Oh, like he's just so old, like into her. He's like exaggerating, blah, 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 blah. But now I'm like, do you know what? She seems to be into him too. And what made me realize that was the girls were all in the room or something. And um, Luca like runs up and then runs to the balcony. And then Gemma's like, gonna go with him. And then the girls are like, no, don't tell him. Because it was been, they got a text that a new guy is coming in the house. Yeah. It's like, don't tell him. And then she's like, I won't, I won't. And they're like, you simp, Gemma. <laughs> and then Gemma tells Luca, obviously. Yeah. So I was like, do you know what? I feel like she's she's reciprocating. I think we're not seeing as much as we're seeing Luca being into her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But she is reciprocating. And I think it's really cute. I think they're very cute together. Yeah, no, it, it, it seems it seems decent. To be honest. Yeah. It seems halfway decent. You know, Genuine. Like, it seems like a, a, a little thing yeah. is going on there. You know? It's cute. You know, and it, it's not too bad. But yeah, like it, it's, it's a cute little thing. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't, I, I would like to see how it holds up in Casa more. Yeah. I, that, From her end, anyway. Yeah, like, Luca has already proven that he has no interest in other girls besides so her. So he slept in the guest. He slept in the doghouse <laughs> instead of sleeping in bed with Danica because of yeah. how much he wants to be with Gemma. That was he, so awkward. Like, when Danica chose him, he was practically fucking, like, having a tantrum. <laughs> he was like... I don't want to go with you. I know. It was so <laughs> crazy. Know? But he... Oh, I don't know. I felt like the way he kind of stuck to what... Like, it's, it's not sleeping there was kind of disrespectful. Like, I know you're so into this person. But look at Paige. Right? You're still just sleeping with them. Like, just have a chat. Treat them yeah. as a person. Like, but I guess, like, me. to him, it's like... It's not... There's no, there's no more, like, trying to get to know other people. I think he's like... Me and Jim are, are dating. I get it. But out of respect for other people you yeah. just be like yeah look i'm not interested in you but i'm not going to disrespect you to the point of like i'm not going to sleep in the same bed as you yeah like that would be interesting like these are there's so much things i want to know so much insider gossip i want to know like so hopefully you know i'll find that out later on this summer but like <laughs> you know but like damn nah honestly fair fox luca to be honest he's sticking to his guns yeah you know? and um i think i just mentioned Paige there with Jacks, they're also very cute. To no, me. it's not. They're not. Paige is cute. No, no, Paige I is think, so cute. No, I think he showed. Oh, a he, lot. he showed well. No, I'm not gonna. Don't get me wrong. Like I think he, he's they're a good couple. But I think Paige is so cute because she's like, she's so like caring and, and giving and invested. Like you know, and she, it's like it's like a little girl. Like I, I tell you, it's like a little girl like having like a cute little boyfriend. It's like oh my god. She's really you cute. know it's like it's so funny like and she's just like she's like grinning from ear to ear you know and stuff like that and i'm like this is mad like you know yeah but i think i it was once again like kind of like what happened with Gemma. i wasn't sure if Jax was that all in after he was like it seemed like he didn't fight for her and when he was like oh yeah just you just crack on get yeah. to know him um but when he saw that Paige was upset he like took it up a notch and was like oh wait there's something wrong here. yeah like, exactly let's talk about it and i really appreciated that and i was like oh there's no you can tell that Jax cares for her yeah i like i'm very interested to see when like because they all seem very strong. Like, the couples are exist seem strong. Oh, Tash, no, not Tasha and Andrew. Yeah. Uh, they seem pretty strong. I'm very interested to see... Because Castamore is like about halfway in, isn't it? That happens. Because um, it's like, on the, at the end of the fourth week, they do send them to Castamore. Like and that. then they're there for like two weeks, is it? To possibly build relationships for two weeks or something. 
Because that would make sense. Maybe one. Or maybe... I don't really... I don't know how one week could be enough to turn someone's head, though. But I don't... I think that's the point. I think the point isn't to, like, be fully developed th- feelings. Oh, it's, it's more, like, straight away, like, are you gonna... Okay, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so, like, or a week or whatever. Anyway, and then I'm, tr- I'm tempted to see how people move when they don't have the other person there constantly looking at them. I know. You know? And uh, make and then being careful. So, like, how strong are these relationships really? <laughs> and like, I'm thinking you have all the guys telling the guy all, each other like, do what makes you happy, and then you have all the girls being like, do what makes you, you happy. happy. So there isn't the other side. There isn't damage to be like, what you did was bad. Yeah, it's just the girls supporting the girls here. And is that how they split it up? Because I'm, I'm yeah, saying I'm not, they split. So the guys go and then the girls, or the girls go and the guys stay. Whatever it yeah. is. It's all the girls and all the boys yeah, together, yeah. and then there's a person for each one of the kind of thing. That is sauce. I know. Sauce. I can't wait for you to watch that part because I don't is, think you. you no, got I've never to. seen it. I've never seen it. Like that's saucy. That's saucy. Yeah. No, no I think you have seen one. I think. Do I you remember? Do you remember when Josh left Georgia for Kaz? I, I yeah, I saw yeah. the I saw like the aftermath. I never yeah, saw yeah. how it led to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That your man. That was that was. Uh, Top quality tra- TV. No, not Travis TV. That was top quality TV. Yeah. Because a man just walks in with a girl holding hands. And he's been chatting to this other girl for four weeks. Comes and she, like a damn fool, didn't trade up. And then she's like, oh, I'm so excited to see him. He comes in with another gal being like, yo, yeah, you're going home. This yeah. is a different gal. So who do you think will crack in this cast on more? Who do I think... It- will crack in Casa more. I don't think Luke is cr- cracking. I need to see how Dami is with India next week to see, like, if I ha- have a feeling that he might. But I would also, the girl would have to be outrageously insane. Lee, like, better, you know? Because I think they have, like, a nice mm. connection right now, so I don't think Dami will crack. Do you think right? India would crack? No, because she really likes him, I think. I think she really likes him. Once again, don't hold me to this. I need to see <laughs> next week's episode before they go for me to like really like see. Because like, they've only just been together for like two, three days yeah. now. So, you know. So, the thing like, with India, I feel like she's very genuine, very into the person. Like, even what she was with Akena. Yeah. But I think once like once Akena left, she was very quick to gel with Dami. But, she would, but right? they, they were already gelling, though. Like, they were yeah, like, they, on really good friendship But that's terms. the thing. If the, I feel like once... The element of Dami is removed. I wonder if he'll, she'll, she will be open to get to know people. Yeah. But it's like, can the connection that she forms with somebody else be stronger? Yeah, and that's I important. Um, Andrew's cracking. Oh, yeah. Andrew, you're cracking. He's cracking on next episode. Like, let's be honest. You're cracking because why? Listen here. Tasha's going to fuck you over because right now you're not deep in it, right? You're not deep in it right now. But in, when you're in there and you know how Tasha's been moving mad, while you were in the premise, she was moving mad. You're going to be there and cast some more lean on your bed being like, yeah, she's probably touching bear mans right now. And you know he you Touching know bear mans. Is, and right? you're like, you know what? Fuck this bitch. I'm not going to look like a damn fool on natural te- national television and I'm getting with another gal. That's what you're going to do. And all you're the guys smart. are going to hype him up. Yeah, they'll be like, you know. And I, if I was there, I'd be like, yeah, you know. She's, t- she's touching up on all the mans. Andrew, man, listen. She's touching all the mans. <laughs> You better f- save yourself right now and just look go for another girl. Yeah, you know that's what that's what I'd be saying to him, and that's what the boys will say to him. 100%. You know, I know that's what Dami and Luca are gonna say to him anyway. They're gonna be honest with him, you know. So like, and we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, David cracking like an omelet. But I mean, <laughs> David is not even in a stable. Like he kissed Danica and then paired up with um, Antigone. 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 David is Antigone. a player. Antigone. Yeah. yeah. He's a player. A man kisses Danica the night before. And then when it comes to recoupling, he's like, nah, Antigone, I only chat to you. Yeah. I'll take you instead. But I feel like the connection between them was different. You could tell that she had a he had more in common with Antigone, I guess being from like different countries or whatever. Yeah. Um, than he did with Danica. And let me just say, I love Antigone so much. She seems um, like a nice girl. You missed her on the first episode, like when she was on dates. She's such a genuine person and like you can tell there's no like malicious 
Intense. Whereas Danica was literally yeah. went to Davide because like three other boys said no. Yeah. So like she looked like know. oh like when she was last last oh when yeah, she was yeah, last. yeah it's like being last to get picked for a fucking you know when they're making the teams and you're the last one to be picked so you just have to go on the team that that picks last and the way Jax had to give a spiel yeah you know God. awkward. But uh, yeah, no, honestly, Danica is just trying to play the game to just stay in the show. Honestly, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. She wants like, that contract. Yeah, that she was just contract. moving. She was just moving. She was just moving like to different men. She was like, oh yeah, you know, obviously I find you very attractive. You're probably one of the best, most attractive people in here. So that's like four guys. Yeah. So okay, I guess we're all attractive. The best attractive <laughs> person in there, apparently. If you really look at ev- you know, anyone, they can just be attractive. You know, the, the most attractive. All four of them can be yeah. the most attractive inside that. That's not my place to talk. Anyway, but yeah, and then uh, I so I think he chose right, and then uh, I can see Gemma crackety crack. I don't think so. A little bit. I don't think so. I really don't think Gemma's stubborn. Yeah, but I can see her do a bit of a. <sighs> Gemma's stubborn. The way she made out with Davide, um, and stayed in bed with him while Luca was sleeping by himself and stuff, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, this girl's a. Little... I think. I, I, I think Gemma was surprised. I think she's so stubborn that she's just not going to be interested. In I don't know. Her. I think Gemma's giving Lori Harvey, you know, <laughs> leaving um, Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan just because she doesn't want to get married. So, like, Gemma's giving that same kind of... I think that's the only way because you're, like, turning her head just because she doesn't want to be married off, as they always say in Maybe. the show, to Luca. But I honestly don't think she's going to do anything. Maybe not. I can see she's absolutely doing something. <laughs> She's absolutely a fucking beast. I think Ekansu can't wait. Ekansu I, I is touching up on every guy that comes oh, their God. way. Uh, sorry, not sorry. Uh, she's the other girls her. probably won't even get a chance to form a connection because she'll just be all over um, all of them. Yeah, no, a page not getting her head turned. No. Um, Jax could slightly a little bit of. A- I don't know. He last night when he was talking to Paige, I felt like that was a genuine. Yeah. Like he, I think he is into her. I think he doesn't look like a dickhead on national television either. So maybe because no, Paige, are. Paige is very nice. So if he was to do that, it would, it would it'd be bad for his public image. Yeah. No, and I, I get that, yeah. but like I feel like they can all justify it by being like, at the end of the day, I'm here to find genuine connection. Blah blah. I do think they're very genuine. Him and Gemma both. But if one out of the like between Luca and Gemma and Paige and Jax, if e- one person from each couple was to turn their head slightly, it would be Gemma and Jax, not Paige and Luca. Yeah, like yeah, yeah like sense. the ones that are the stronger ones. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, but I guess we're gonna have to see. Uh, we'll watch pro- them all shock us. Yeah, yeah, watch them all shock us and see what the story is. But yeah, I know we'll do another one of these in like three weeks maybe like once and I, by then Casamore would have probably started and finished maybe and I then there'd know. only be like about two weeks left on the show and uh or we could just do yeah. an episode after Casamore. Yeah, yeah or whatever but you'll get our takes then you know let us know if you like it this could be a youtube special maybe you know who maybe. knows you know like you might not have this on the spotify as you i could be treating you guys only to this so that's what i'm thinking but anyway Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Short episode for today, but enjoy your weekend. Peace. Peace.